First of all, hi, welcome to Munich. I mean, I'm still a little bit surprised almost kind of seeing you in a Bayern Munich shirt after being a Tottenham show for so long, but obviously I know what a great club this is. Did, did you come here, to, obviously, to, to win some trophies? I think, uh, you know, there was a lot of talk about trophies um, and, of course, it was a, a part of my decision in, in coming to, to this club, but I've said before, you know, ultimately it come down to, you know, how can I improve and how can I push myself to, you know, another level. I've, you know, had a... A great period at, at Tottenham, you know, I was probably playing at the first team for n nine, ten years um, and enjoyed every moment of it. And, you know, I just got to a stage where, you know, I wanted to to push myself even more. And, you know, I felt like I needed to be competing for uh, league titles every year, competing in the Champions League for the Cups. Uh, and obviously Bayern Munich gave me that, that opportunity. So uh, I'm really happy that, you know, I've made this move. It's been a, a good start to the season and um, I'm just enjoying it so far. Was Thomas Tuchel a big factor in, in that decision making? Yeah, I think wherever you go, you want to be, you know, with one of the best coaches in, in the world. And, uh, you know, we had a chat yeah, before I came and, you know, he, he explained to me how, you know, he saw me in the team and the way he wanted to play tactically. And, you know, I was really excited by, by his vision. And uh, even since I've been here, you know, I feel like I'm learning, uh, you know, as a player, I'm always someone who's trying to take little things from every coach that I play under. And, uh, it's no different with, with the boss here and, um, you know, he demands a lot from his players and he wants everyone to improve and, and, you know, show personality on the pitch and, you know, I feel like I fit in well to, to what he wants. We're so used to seeing you kind of with England and Tottenham dropping a little bit deeper, almost playing as a 10, but obviously with the firepower Bayern have, kind of, you know, Musial and Thomas Muller and Coleman and Nabry and, you know, all those guys, do you, you think we'll see you play a little bit higher and play as a number nine or have you got the license to drop off still? Yeah, I think, you know, early, early days, you know, I'm still trying to figure, figure that out with, with this team, if I'm being totally honest, you know, I think, uh, and, and with the coach as well, you know, I can, I can play both roles really well as I've done, you know, for, you know, England and, and Tottenham over the years. And uh, I guess now it's about finding what works best, you know, for the team. You know, I've done a little bit of both in the games I've played so far. I probably not felt, you know, I've had the, you know, the best games overall. You know, I've, I've scored the goals, but in terms of my all-round play, I feel like I'm still getting to know the players a little bit. And, and that comes with time as well, I think, for sure, over the weeks and months, you know, when you're training every day and you're playing matches, you get to know just little, you know, little movements, little, the way people like to turn and pass, etc. And uh, that will, you know, probably dictate to, to if I play higher or lower. But... Uh, I think for most games it'll probably be playing higher just because you know we've got fantastic players in the number 10 position we've got really uh, a lot of speed on the wing so there's going to be a lot of crosses a lot of balls you know in behind and I need to make sure I'm in the box to try and finish them off. Has anybody surprised you? I mean the good thing is about going to a top team where you kind of know everyone from the outside. Yeah. Has anybody surprised you that you maybe wouldn't have anticipated? Do you know what I mean in training? Yeah, it's a hard one. I think, you know, Jamal has been fantastic. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about uh, Jamal and how good he is and young he is. And I think he's, you know, been great to watch in, in training and, you know, in tight areas, how he moves and um, plays forward. So he, he's been fantastic to play with so far. Um, you know, Thomas Muller, how intelligent he is, you know, from the outside, I don't think people sometimes appreciate these these type of players uh, who are just you know one step ahead in the brain compared to uh, the rest of the the team. But uh, overall, you know, I think we've got fantastic players all around the pitch, and that's the exciting thing being at, being at a club like this. And um, you know, we're still just yeah finding our way a little bit on what the the coach wants. But I think once once it clicks, you know, we can be a real hard team to stop. I mean, obviously tomorrow is a big game against Manchester United, and they were. Um, Keen like everybody else to sign you. Yeah. How how difficult do you think that game could be with obviously the season, the start of the season that United have had, obviously? Yeah, I think it can be really tough. You know, uh, we've all been in spells where you know you're going through a bit of a, a tough time and you're really looking for a big reaction. And uh, obviously they come to to a p tough place, to our home tomorrow night. But you know, sometimes getting a win away in a big in a big game can really change your season. So we need to be wary of that. Uh, but also. We need to kind of use you know, it to our advantage as well. We're, we're at home, we want to dictate the tempo, dictate the game, uh, really try and put the pressure on them from, from early. Um, and yeah, that's what we'll try and do. But of course, they've got some great threats in Rashford and Bruno. And you know, they've got some really talented players who can catch you out if you're, if you're not switched on. So um, yeah, it will be a tough game. Every game in the Champions League will be tough. But you know, we have to go into this one with confidence being at home and, and trying to start the campaign well. I mean, the thing about Bayern Munich, I mean, I've played here for 10 years, 
you know, they expect trophies, you know, not only in Bundesliga, the, the cup as well. The Champions League is almost kind of the icing on the cake. You're, you're guaranteed trophies, obviously, over, over the spell here. But is the big one, is that kind of the Champions League? You think about with like Neuer and Tuchel and yourself. Feels like the pieces of the puzzle are all there to, to be one of the best teams to win it. Yeah, I think, you know, from the outside, we'll be one of the favourites for sure. Um, it's been a, a few years since, obviously, Bayern Munich have won it. And, of course, every every season they go into they want to be the champions of of Europe and uh, yeah that's an expectation we have to deal with as players uh, I think from a technical point of view you know you can see with our squad we, we have enough to, to to win it but it comes down to you know big moments and um, yeah trying to deliver when you know you get to the knockout stages later they, there was they had tough games against Man City. Did you uh, did you watch them? Yeah, there was good yeah. games. Good game. Obviously. Did you when you when you see that game? Because obviously no, I didn't play, and obviously the, there was no more Lewandowski. Felt like it was missing somebody like you. Because actually in both games they had more possession than Man City, which, yeah. which is super rare. So feels like obviously with Neuer eventually back, and you you're in, you guys would be in a perfect place to kind. Yeah, to, I, to I win think those when games. when I watched them games, you know, they created you know a load of chances, and on you know another another day where things just go your way or um, hopefully if I was there to, to finish some of those chances then you know things could have been totally different so you know like I said from the outside Bayern Munich are a massive club with, and we're a great team so people will look at us with you know a real, a real danger but um, you know to, to win any competition you've got to perform in, in the big moments and um, that only time will tell obviously we start the cam campaign tomorrow which we're expected to qualify, but it's still, you know, never easy. You still have to do that. And then, um, yeah, going into the other games, you, you have to beat the best teams in Europe to, to be champions. So, uh, yeah, we're hopefully building to that. Hopefully we can put ourselves in a great position going into into the new year once, you know, the, the group stage is finished and, and then we go from there. Has, has the size of the club surprised you a little bit? Uh, I mean, it's still early days. Of course, I knew Bayern Munich was a big club. I didn't fully know what to expect, you know, when arriving here. But everyone's been amazing so far. And um, the good thing is, it has like it's still a family feel. Do you yeah. know, like if I if I see Karl Heinz Rummenigge in town, yeah, you know, he still talks about kind of the old moments. A lot of the guys that looked after me for the physio and stuff, yeah. they're still there. And I think that's what, even though it's a massive club. Everybody's still quite yeah. Like, you think, quite you've close. got a really good family vibe with with the club, and um, yeah, there's loads of staff who you know are always coming up and saying saying hello and asking how you're doing. So um, yeah, I couldn't have asked for you know a better bunch of people to to welcome me, and even the fans. You know, you see a load of the fans around the city and uh, always you know saying new things and excited that I'm here. So they've they've all made my welcome you know really good, but. Um, yeah, I think you know as the season goes on and you start getting into probably the, the crunch time of the season, you start to see, you know, how the club react, how the people react um, in tough spells, in good spells, uh, and, and that's what you know is coming for me over these next few months. I mean, obviously Bayern is 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 so used to winning, and and you're right, kind of in those difficult moments, it's it's where you kind of see the club of you know they're, they're so used to winning that they don't expect. I mean, we used to come in the dressing room after winning a game. And Kai and Schumann would say, "You guys play rubbish." And yeah. you're thinking, "Jeez, you know, we thought yeah, yeah. we thought we'd done all right." So the demands are always there because you look up, you know, fans Beckenbauer, and Kai and Schumann, you know, Gerd Muller, these kind of legends of the club are still. You you can almost feel them, the, the history with from them. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think it's down to us as players to use that to then create our own history. You yeah. know, ultimately, you know, they they had their time to you know set their standards, and now it's our time to set ours. You know, we. We won't put a limit on anything that we, we feel like we can achieve, but uh, also we know, you know, you don't want to be the one, you know, we, we've won the league for 11 years in a row, you know, I don't want to be the one to, to not win it for the 12th <laughs> year, and the players feel, feel that, you, you don't want to be, you know, the one to, to mess that up. I feel like in the Cups we can do better, it's been a few years, you know, uh, in the Cup competition since Bayern have won that, and of course in the Champions League it's never easy to be consistent but you know it's been a few years since since we won that as well so there's definitely room for improvement there and I think as players that you know that's a you know an extra carrot to, to try and get to you know and it's not just the league it's all the competitions we want to try and be uh, go as far as we can and, and try and win. Do you ever set yourself any targets you know I know you want to win trophies but do you ever set yourself kind of any number ones or are you just kind of take it as it comes? Yeah I'm a take as it comes type of guy you know in terms of personal targets in terms of goals etc I kind of set myself you know weekly and monthly little things that can I try and get to that number by you know the end of September October and then 
Uh, but ultimately, you know, the games can come so thick and fast, you don't have too much time to think too far ahead. You know, they're every three, four days you're preparing for a new team and you know it's going to be uh, a tough game. And just like the start to, to our season, you know, I've been um, pleasantly surprised by, you know, the, the teams I've played so far and how they try and play and, you know, a lot of man-for-man -man pressure. So uh, a lot of risks being, being taken from opposition. So... Uh, it's been a tough start and, and a good start and one, you know, I feel like it's improving me as a player. I mean, if you were to kind of reflect almost on kind of your journey, 30 years old now, coming, you know, through at Tottenham, I mean, Tim always talks about kind of, you know, coming through with you, obviously England's greatest scorer, second highest scorer ever in the Premier League. Are you even surprised by, a little bit by your kind of, your own, your career and your own success? Yeah, I think it's, it's such a weird one because obviously when you're young, you know, you dream of all these things and, um, but then once you're in it, you know, it all goes so quick. First of all, you're trying to break into the team and yeah. you know, you're a young kid, you know, knocking on Tim's door, you know, why am I playing? And, um, and then obviously he gave me the chance and then you're in the team and then I was out the team for a bit and you go through like this roller coaster and then um, obviously once Mauricio was there, I was able to kind of stay in the team and then, you know, every season there's a new, new challenge, you know, you know, you score 20 goals, it's now can you do it for two seasons? You do it for two seasons, can you score 30 goals? And there's always you know, room to, to improve and get better. And, you know, I've had ups and downs um, for Tottenham. Obviously, we come really close to some, some big titles and we just couldn't quite quite get there. But, um, you know, that's why every year you just go on to the next one. You're just like, OK, how can I get better? How can I improve? That's what it surprises me almost about you. You seem to be ageing like a fine wine. You know, you seem to get better every year. You know, your game seems to evolve, whereas before I don't think anybody saw you as like a as a 10 and then all of a sudden you became you had the most assists you know I think you, yeah. you seem to almost want to improve every year yeah and I think it's a great mindset to have and you know I talk to any young boys and girls growing up it's really important to to have this no matter how good you get you know there's always something else you can get better at and uh, I'll be doing that you know until I'm late 30s 40s however long I play uh, that, that'll be my mindset because you know, I always have this fear of getting to retirement age and always thinking oh, I wish I'd just done that or wish I'd done a little bit more to improve. I know, come the end of my career, you know, I'd have done everything possible to be as good as I can. If I win 10 trophies or no trophies, that's, that's the way it is. But, um, you know, I know deep down, you know, I'm pushing myself to, to the highest level I can be. All right, last one. What's, what's the one thing Harry Kane can do better? Because I'm trying to, I'm struggling to think of it. Uh, yeah, see, it's not just like specific things. It's like, can you just get 1% better in this and this and this and score more goals from crosses, score more headers, score more real effort, make more runs, hold the ball up better? So there's so much that goes into being a striker or a number 10. And, um, and now I guess for me, the improvement would be getting to know my team as quick as possible, getting to know what the coach wants. New teams, and I know we play teams all around Europe all the time, but you know, um, I'm not used to playing against some of the defenders that are, that are here in the Bundesliga. And so... Uh, it takes a little bit of time to adapt to that, but um, for me, you know, like I said, I've started well, but for sure I know there's another level I can, I can get to, and hopefully once I reach that, you know, we, that will really help push the team on as well. Well, good luck. I hope you lift the Champions League trophy at the end of the year, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you very much.